Hello and welcome everyone back to my Elder Scrolls Castle mobile game content. I just now got to download. I'm so excited. This is the first chance I've had to see the game and I wanted to share it with you. So let's watch as we start it for the first time. My goodness, that's hilarious. I mean, not really, but kind of. All right, so we're going to go into the tutorial, I'm guessing. Never played this before, so I just want to preface all my videos with that understanding so that you get it that I do not know what I'm doing. So I'm learning this with you. Welcome to your kingdom, part of the glorious empire of Tamriel. You know that place well. Spent many a year in Tamriel. Every day you play is a year of your subjects' lives. Watch over them from birth to death and help them prosper. The fate of all the generations to come is in your hands. All right, so here I am. King Odar has a decision to make most likely important state affairs. And I guess whenever you see those little cards above the throne, that means you got a decision to make. Oh boy. My wife is not happy. She caught me. Fooling around with this Khajiit wench. I demand you cast her out at once. Okay, so I only get one option. I swear she means nothing to me. So, that's what I gotta choose. I hate you, Les. <laughs> oh, goodness. And it appears that the ramifications of my decision were dire. For I have been slain. May RK guide his soul. Alright. That's a shame, but his dynasty must endure. You need to choose the next ruler. Okay, so... I have Jafar, who is volatile. I have Isabel, the wife. She is headstrong. She will bend the castle to her will for better or for worse. <laughs> uh, I could choose the little fling. Her rulings are sure to provoke strong reactions from her subjects. I have Rahim all in here. A heroic figure, the champion. Mm, strong leadership in these trying times. He has a leadership trait. I think I'm going to go with him. I mean, he has a leadership trait. I need a leader. What's what's not the what's not the love here? I'm sure there will be some that won't be happy. Long live the king. All right. So we now have a new king. Everybody looks happy. He's asking me to make another decision. <laughs> Rahim, you double-crossing snake. I was destined to sit on this throne, not you. Was this all part of your plan? Jafar says... Please, cousin, let us be friends and you can help me rule. You make a powerful enemy by accusing me. Well, I'm going to ask him to be on my side and see where that gets me. I'm 
very well. Have a good day. Jafar liked that. So I guess that means I gained some favor with him. Let's start by making more room so we can tap on the building icon. And I guess I tap highlighted area to build a room. Let's build a wall to separate the throne room. Okay, let's make more room. Okay, let's add a new floor now. Like walls, floors are free to build. Okay, yeah, so add stairs. Okay. Tap on it again to remove it. It's basically teaching me how to build here. Teaching me how to build and how to remove the things and all that. Now let's build a kitchen to feed everyone. Food is going to be super important, along with oil, I've seen from the stuff I've watched. You can either drag the kitchen's mini card or use the button on the details card. Open the kitchen details card. Okay, it says kitchen produces food. Let's build an oil press. Next, oil keeps workstation lit, allowing subjects to work at it. Let's try dragging this one. Boom. That's enough building for now. Okay, so we have food and oil now being produced, and those correspond with the two gauges we have up at the top of the screen, it looks like. Let's assign the subject to the kitchen. Okay, that guy. Drag him to the kitchen. Keep an eye on the food meter. If it falls below the indicated threshold, the subjects will begin to starve. Okay, gotcha. Now let's tap on the food and collect it. So I get XP and food every time. And then also, now let's build some oil meter. Looks like we just ran out of oil. We won't be able to make more food. So we need to sign somebody to the oil mill. All right, now we'll collect the oil. And now we're lighting the castle again. All right, check the castle report regularly to see what tasks need your attention. So this is like a daily quest list type of thing, I guess. Assign another subject to the oil press. It's zero of one. Okay. And then there's my ruler, King Rahim. Okay. She's a kitchen. This person and her assigned to the kitchen. Let's see what this guy is. Emotional, jobless. Let's give her to oil. Assign another subject to the oil press claim. All right, so we got our task. Our dynasty has leveled up to level two. Let's claim that wood. Workstations can be upgraded to increase the amount of resources or ingredients they produce. Looks like your kitchen is ready to be upgraded. So I guess whenever they have the sparklies around the workstation, that means you need to upgrade it. So tap the card to go up. And we'll go up to level two. It's gonna take five wood, but we have 14, so we have enough. All right, now we have a level two kitchen. Well, actually it's building right now have the option to rush it it looks like I imagine as it gets way higher level it will uh, take way longer to build all right so now we have a level two kitchen 
And I can see by the meter over there on the two, on the level two, that it shows it's halfway to being able to be upgraded again, I think is what that means. Yep, unlock at Dynasty level five. We're halfway there. Okay, so I don't really know how to zoom in and out. I guess you just pinch and zoom like that. Okay, let's collect our oil. So I collected oil once. Where was my task list again? All oh, right here. Upgrade to click kitchen, claim. Collect oil once, claim. So I have leveled up my dynasty again. Now I've got a mill. Can I unlock that? So now my tasks are build a mill, sign two subjects to it, and produce five wood at the mill. Okay. Okay, enter build mode to place a mill where there's room for it. So, let's find room for the mill. Maybe up top on that level up there. Let's try that. Let's put it up there, yeah. Okay, so we've built a mill. Now I need to assign people to it. Alright, so let's assign Cassius to it. And let's assign this person to it. Let's assign this person to this. Let's assign this person to this. So, it looks like I have done those things. Let's claim them. Produce five wood at the mill and collect food once. Well, there goes that. And I've collected food once. Produce five wood at the mill. Wood. Produce five wood. Okay, I don't know how to do it. Wow, ah, I did it. All right. I'm going to claim those gems. From Dynasty Level 4, yes. We got our hands on some gems. That's pretty awesome. A newcomer has come to join your castle. Their chisel and laborer shirt will both enhance productivity at the mill. Ooh, okay. Other types of tools and outfits have similar effects. At other workstations, drag the subject to the mill to put them to work. Okay, let me drag you to the mill, my friend. Yes. We'll collect our oil while we're at it. Let's check out our task list. We gotta upgrade our oil press. Okay. This is our oil press right here. It is ready to be upgraded. Gonna take five wood. We have that. Now we have unlocked Gorbak the Haunted. Upgrade the kitchen and make one ruling at the throne. Okay, so it looks like I've got my ruling that I can make. My king, you've received a coronation gift from the emperor. Long live the emperor. Yes. I get some gems. So I have 
advanced my list to make a rule against the throne, so I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to upgrade a kitchen. So let's go upgrade our kitchen real quick. I'm not sure if it's ready to do that or not. And we can upgrade, I think. Well, we upgrade if we buy with gems, but. So I guess I'll have to, oh, I can upgrade now that I have some wood. Upgrade to level three. All right, so now we've done it. We've upgraded our kitchen. So basically you can see what it's like to play the game. We went through six stages of the, well, six dynasty levels of the tutorial. We've unlocked our loom. I think we'll go ahead and cut it short today with this one. Make this part one of the tutorial play. Kind of give you guys an idea of what you're looking at. Next stage will be to unlock the loom and add it to our castle. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for watching my content. I'll catch you later.